your Lacey brand and our whatever goals that we, or aims that we have will not be delivered. So thank you for that. Uh, I would like to thank Carol and MDEC for having us here and organize, and partnering with us. They've been a faithful partner. Uh, as, as what MDEC, as, as what uh, Carol and MDEC does, they've helped you facilitate your business and grow your business, right? And you had KK and Joe and June share. They help you uh, create that ease for you to grow that business. For us, Aramax is essentially essentially creating the reality when you sell that product, taking it to your customer. So while you have the guys who help you facilitate your business, create the convenience with technology, our part is doing the actual work of taking that package and continuing that customer experience for you because you, you surely want that good reviews, you want repeat orders, uh, and we are the guys who are able to do that. Now, uh, before I, I, I hand it over to my colleague uh, Crystal to present uh, what we have for you today, I think we are going to take this opportunity to, to uh, launch a new product, uh, a new product that will be first in Malaysia and you will be the guys who will get the uh, new product with the new, new rates. Uh, in terms of selling, uh, I think I just wanted to pitch this because most of the time we have the lives of entrepreneurs like you uh, coming back to us because your customers are not happy and a lot of times we are the guys working with uh, different country regulators to try and get your products in and sometimes it's not easy uh, I'll give you an example you know, everybody wants to buy cosmetics online but getting cosmetic into a country it's very difficult so that's the reality we need licenses because uh, government wants to protect the consumers you don't want to bring in stuff with chemicals that will that, 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 uh, that will harm your citizens so we have to work with regulators. So when you decide on a product to sell, I would, I would think that you need to do a lot of research whether those products can enter those markets. Yeah, so I think I just want to leave you with that uh, because a lot of you all are going to be new sellers. I wish you all the best uh, in selling and uh, please visit our booth. We have aggressive pricing uh, for you all and, and, uh, and there's this new product I'll let uh, like Car uh, Crystal share a bit more. With that, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you, and then he's rushing to the airport right now. <laughs> okay, uh, my name is Crystal, I'm from RMX. Essentially, for RMX, we are a career service company. So, um, thank you for your presence today. And um, So, for today, we're going to talk about ship for less, and for you all who are the merchants here today. So, generally, what we're going to do is we're going to run through uh, three agenda. So once we're going to talk about e-commerce uh, e market, the trends and the overview. Oh, sorry. Uh, she needs to record it, that's why. Okay, so um, it's a good time to be doing e-commerce. As you know, we just passed 11.11. Alibaba just posted, what, 30 billion one-day sales. And of course, there's also global sales. What does 30 billion mean actually? It's more than like Brunei. Brunei is 31 billion GDP for one year. So, you know, with all revenue and everything, 31 billion GDP compared to one day of e commerce sales for 11 11. I'm going to leave it there. So, this is what I'm talking about. So, I'm trying to open up your minds. Um, in the sense that you have your Malaysia with MDAG and all, so we can hope to pivot it even further in terms of local sales. But open your mind to the global e-commerce rate because you are talking about 2.3 trillion of sales. So of course, so these are the numbers you want to get at least one percent also chico makan, right? <laughs> trillion of USD, by the way. Right. So these are data. Why people choose online stores? Because I can shop twenty four seven. I don't need to be there at the store buying, right? I feel at two a.m. I cannot sleep. You know, just to to post my anxiety, everything. Click online shopping. 12 a.m. Everybody was waiting for 12 a.m. 11 11. Want to buy? Want to buy? Want to buy? Want to buy? Right? 12 a.m. Which store? Even in Malaysia, which store open at 12 a.m.? 
seven avenger lah right i need i need this one in us in america i tell you in us in australia right when you go okay us maybe not in new york where it doesn't sleep but in australia when i went to gold coast what time oh, okay i was in australia was like oh late night shopping guys late night shopping thursday late night shopping close what time 7 p.m that's once a week so you know like huh 7 p.m at least our malls here every day are like what 10 p.m so yeah that's why i can shop 24 7. next why they buy online because i can compare how many sellers is not unlimited sellers on ebay i can compare the price right i see okay of course now this is the latest data these are all for this one 43 percent don't care where your products are coming from it's not by me yeah huh? this is um they they have a study and all that they don't care where it's coming from as long as i want the products there's certain things that i can't get in malaysia that i have to buy on ebay i have to buy on amazon i have to buy on certain websites as well i say that it's not coming from local local service um, local merchants so when we talk about logistics in e-commerce i think uh, joe has this one you have your procurement your marketplace your warehouse your sh shipping so we're going to talk about this portion june has already covered um, basically the whole cycle sorry the whole cycle for e-commerce is already covered today for your warehousing and all those so i'm going to cover this portion today so so when we have order you need your web store you have your easy stores and everything here of course if your items are going internationally right so you need to have something that customers want to track their things and everything and of course you need to engage with a service provider that have local customs brokerage and all and someone in e-commerce you need to be innovative and all so even as we speak today my Singapore team is um, setting up meetings and all for what we call parcel agents, parcel lockers and all. Why? You are here in this event. There's nobody in office, nobody at home. I got parcels people buying. So we want pick up drop off centers. I think those are the innovative solutions that we need to give to our customers as well. So we're going to talk about more of that. And certain countries, especially Middle East, seventy percent of the transactions are all CODs. Why? They don't trust one thing. I like say that their products can come. Next thing, I don't have as a lady. One year plus back ago, Saudi Arabia just only allowed women to drive. So how am I going to shop? And I don't have. I need a male accompaniment. Whether it's a brother, it's a, it's a cousin or a husband. But they need to work too. So, but they have stacks of cash. They don't have bank account. So, COD. And, of course, Joe mentioned earlier, <coughs> nobody actually factored in returns. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I say, so, you have to consider those are the things that when you want to venture into the e-commerce e business, you need to venture all of this. And the thought process of all of that. So, like you mentioned, shoppers expect personalized delivery methods because some of your or some of your customers are not home. They don't accept parcels. Some companies, no, no, no deliveries to our companies at all. I say so. These are the things that uh, will actually restrict your your movement. So you need to give them that option. Next, sometimes, like uh, Vernon mentioned, you know you have to check whether you know your products are allowed to enter into that specific market if you're selling a t-shirt fine you know nothing but if you're selling cosmetics you're selling food you have to make sure if you're going into us you need to make sure your products fda approved whether it's for personal and all of those these are the things that you need to check first and of course i have my team you're not too sure we can give you a head start i say we can give you you say, hey, I got this new product. Can I check whether it's available 
to go in say I want to send to Australia you can just give a shout out to our Australia team whether can and oh where can I get all this info from of course you have to what we call Google is my best friend too right like say but we can get you a head start on all this information and of course all buyers want the minute I get something right I want to know okay what's my tracking number can I track you know like say they will track their products only seven percent out of the whole hundred percent don't bother tracking lah when it comes it comes lah right but how about the 93 percent of it they will go in and track the products like say. and you're not the you're not going to compete against those china sellers who are selling 10 cent one thing you know like those kind of thing one dollar one thing you're going to be i would advise you to go on to mid to high end level that's our malaysia competitive advantage very very simple you know when you want to buy more expensive product you will personally even for me huh buy from china uh, better not lah buy from something from you know amazon buy something from ebay maybe trustable but seller is in china anyway but is is that trust like i said seller is in malaysia so I would advise, I think all of them will advise you to go. We, we've been speaking to a lot of merchants. They always aim for not the lowest of lowest because we can never beat China volume. But mid-range, personalized products, that's where Malaysia competitive advantage are. And of course, definitely, when you buy mid-range, I want to know because I'm paying a bit more expensive. I want to know, I want to track service. I want to know where are my shipments. No, I'll go like, oh, okay, 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 coming, coming, coming soon. Is it now here, 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 here? Or oh, shipment has packed, shipment has created. Then those are the services that we RMX can actually give to you. Of course, shoppers need a return process. So once you have grown bigger and all, even um, from who of you, I think, um, Malays, I would say, hijab, buy FV, fashion medley and all. <laughs> Right, like I say, so I'm also speaking to them, you know, how can, can we do the term process, how to make it easier for them, easier for the customers uh, to return the products just in case if it's not right fit and everything, the whole customer experience. But then again, you buy, because you can send the product there, but you need to have that returns policy. You give that customer the assurance, if I don't like it, you know, how can I return it back, how you should go all about it. Last but not least, like I say, lack of customer trust. If you are just starting out, nobody knows your brands, right? So uh, they are also afraid of, you know, is this a scammer, you know, uh, get my things, you know, like those old school days, you buy your things on FP, don't know whether true or not, just direct payment. So those are the things why people don't buy online. So for RMX, we can do COD, like I say, for certain markets and all. Because some of them, there are limitations to it. But the top three challenges, I would say. One is customs when we do cross-border. I say every country customs, I tell you, is different. The minute you cross into Singapore is so different than the minute you cross into Indonesia. I say the customs. Like, and you were mentioning KYC India is crazy, right? So every country will have different customs challenges. Last mile delivery, those are the challenges that we also face. I think as e-commerce sellers, so you want to be with a trusted partner who has somebody there who they can call as well. And of course, last but not least, the title of this event and why you guys are here, <laughs> right? Cheap for less. Rates. I want cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> right? Yes. Unless you want expensive. Okay, la, I don't mind increasing. La, huh? But it's all about shipping for less, being in competitive market. So this, of course, you need the technology, the rates brand these are the factors so like i say uh, what we're going to do today is of course i'm um, going to talk a bit about rmx so we can do 
your international express parcel, the ones that you need fast, what we call priority parcel express. You have your small little flyer, what are the differences? But as Vernon mentioned today, you are among the first crowd that uh, we are actually going out and shout about. It's because we are launching uh, this service, it's called the Economy Parcel Express. Oh. Right, so, huh? You huh? got priority, you got economy, what's the difference? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's a hybrid product, I would say. So, it's something that, you know, we're also accustomed to all the career service giving the 0 0.5 kilo rates, uh, priority parcel, but we come back to customers, customers come back to us, sorry. Hey, don't you guys have a cheaper thing that I can send? You know, those lighter weight products, you know, but I still want trackable, I still want that visibility. So, this is where we actually launch today in terms of the EPX service. So, what is it all about? So yes, here is the comparison. So it both are track and trace. You can track, you can trace your products, everything on our Max form. How do I differentiate? You see, is your product high value or mid to high value? When we're talking about mid to high value, more than hundred USD. So we will advise you to take up the express service. Of course, then again. If it's low value, lower value, you want to target well, to increase your volume, right? 10 USD, 30 USD, 50 USD, you still can go for this. It's urgent, go for the priority parcel. If, say, okay lah, not that urgent. I don't mind waiting that 5 to 10 days, still fine, customer can take it. Go for this CPX. 5 to 10 days. Generally speaking, working days. Oh. And of course, this one, as we all know, we have, it starts with 0 0.5 kilo. Every career service you go to, oh, start with 0 0.5 kilo. I have lighter weight than that. One serving down. How many? Maybe 100 grams? Less than that? So you only pay this. Economic parcels, it starts from 50 grams. It's targeted for lighter weight products. And, okay, we have worldwide services for this. This, EU, EU means the 27 countries that are in EU and one UK. Brexit already. <laughs> yeah? So, this, because why? eBay customers, most of their customers are in this territory anyway. You can't run far from it. So, one app is like any questions. Right. The rates all, you can go to my team, the rates are all there today. Not here. Not here. <laughs> go to my team, get the rates from them, can bring it back. But if you are an existing customer, just give my team know your account number so that I can load the rates for you. We'll start billing you on that rate. If you are a new customer, just let us know. We'll sign you up. All I need, if you are enterprise, I need your SSM and IC copy, that's it. Like I say, if you are Syndrome Mahat, I need your Form 9, 24, 49. Pardon? Yeah, yeah, the equivalent, the new form. The one, two page, yeah, yeah. team, everything. Right? I am not too sure. You call it Super Form, okay, from now on, I'll use Super Form. Yeah, that's what it's actually called. So, I mean, I just need that to open an account. You can enjoy the rates, the special rates. It's all the rates are all behind with my team. Go grab it. First half, first one kilo, as low as twenty ringgit for priority parcel. Not many out there can actually get these rates, even for low volume merchants. And of course, EBX is an even lower lower rates than that into US. Thirty ringgit to US. See, that's where we're starting for all in already. So these are the things that you guys can just approach my team. I have a whole team out there. Get the rates from them. Check out with them. You know what are your products and everything. Then we can actually uh, speak further on it.
Alright, that's all I have for today. Any questions?